What am I? Who am I? Where am I? Why am I? All these things we're going to find out on High Five! High Five! High Five! High Five! High Five! High five. High five. Why do you say that I look like a farmer? I don't know, that blue shirt, he's wearing this shirt that's totally not him. But anyway, here we are, and Mary, what's this about? This is about mankind and how much God really loves people. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read from Psalm 8, verse 4 through 8. In the Passion Translation, it says, and, and David just got done describing all the beauties of nature and how wonderful everything is. And then he says this, Compared to all the cosmic glory, why would you bother with puny mortal man <laughs> or be infatuated with Adam's sons? Yet, what honor you have given to men, created only a little lower than Elohim, crowned like kings and queens with glory and magnificence. You have delegated to them majesty over all you have made, wow. everything subservient to their authority, placing earth itself under the feet of your image bearers. All the created order and every living thing of the earth, sky and sea, the wildest beasts and all the sea creatures, everything is in submission to Adam's sons. Wow. Now wow. that's what David came to a realization of, that this is what God thinks of mankind, that we are created in his image and likeness. That's Boy, what if we woke up every morning feeling like that? Well, that's how God feels about us, and he doesn't even wake up. He doesn't wake all the time. Right. Right. But God feels this way about us. He so much has planted everything that's in him, in us. Yes. We were born from his very seed. Yes. Every characteristic that he has. We were hewn from the rock, the rock being God. We were hewn from that rock. We have his same characteristics. And when the question is, what is man that you are mindful of him? I'm telling you, God's mind is filled with us. God's heart is filled with us. This is what God created to be just like him. And he loves us so much. And we've got to see ourselves like he sees us. Otherwise, we're going to see ourselves, oh, you're always mad. Oh, I can't get this. But we're created just like him. He did that for us. Yep. I don't really enjoy talking about the devil. But I'm going to say this. Okay. Is that, is that uh, with all this being true, the, the, the main strategy that the devil would have is mm -hmm. to come against that identity in us. Actually, that's exactly what he did with Jesus. When the devil mm -hmm. and Jesus had direct interaction right after Jesus had, uh, had fasted for, for 40 days and, and came out of the wilderness and everything, it's, it, it was Jesus' identity that the yes. devil went after. It was it was his uh, who he was and what he was to do. That that was the strategy. And I'm going to tell you that's the strategy against you and I is to try and rob us of our identity, who we really really are, and to get us to thinking low level thoughts about inability and 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 things like that. That's exactly right. In in Hebrews chapter two verse sixteen, the Word of God says that. When Jesus was born, he did not get the nature of the angelic realm or angels, but he received the nature of the seed of Abraham, who we all come from. Right. Wow. So there is, there, like Wyatt said, there has been a subtle, maybe not so subtle, not attack so. against mankind. But we want to proclaim as hard as we can and with all encouragement, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's you right. are made in the image of God. It doesn't matter, rich, poor, what color of skin, none of that matters because God loves us all equally without discrimination and without a thought of seeing one as more inferior and one more acceptable. In his mind and heart, we all belong to him. That's exactly right. Thank you, Jesus. Even when you wear a shirt like this, God loves you. God still sees you clothed maybe, in Him. Maybe God I've been still watching, loves you. Maybe I've been watching too much about that uh, that particular television show about the rancher in Montana. Oh, there I guess go. that's what it is. Yeah. But you must receive this from God, that He created you and me to be just like Him in all power and authority. You're not weak. You're not beggarly. You're not insignificant. You're everything that God ever dreamed of. You're his dream. You know, you were you were made to change this world. You were certainly made to Amen. change your world. 
you've been ju given jurisdiction and power by the Holy Spirit it's to change things in your life. That's right. It's and, ours. and so, so, so shape a world for yourself, a shape a world that, that, that you'd like to live in and then begin to confess it, begin to work toward it, begin to use God's blessings toward building it and watch what happens. What is man that God is mindful of him? He's you and God is filled with thinking about you and loving and caring about you. You're going to make it because God's in you. God's with you. Right. God's for you. Amen. 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 High five. High five. High five, High five. 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 High